Hey gang, so I'm here to do a quick video while the baby gets her dinner. She's learning how to feed herself, which is so appropriate for this video because I'm talking about Brandon Brazier's Thrive uh, Nutritional Vegan Guide uh, for Optimal Sports Performance. That's not the exact title, that was paraphrased. But I want to talk about the first chapter, he talks about stress. And this is as far as I've gotten. I've got like lots of notes on just like the first two pages of the book. Um, and I'm really enjoying what I'm learning. He's talking about the adrenal glands on top of the kidneys and how they release cortisol. And when we were hunters and gatherers, um, we needed this shot of adrenaline, this energy boost, um, whether it be to escape from a predator uh, or if we needed food and we needed to go a long way to find the food or get the food, then um, that stress factor kicked in and the cortisol was released so then we would have the necessary means to uh, get over that hurdle. And now, today we're not faced with having to flee from a, an animal, um, but when you think about the, your job and the pressures of society and raising kids, um, there's a lot of stress. And it's actually one of those things where before uh, they would have stress and then it would shut off because they got their food um, or they were away from danger. But with us, it's like continual uh, shots of adrenaline that we are just are nonstop releasing. And actually, when the body has too much, um, it starts to eat away at the muscle and it messes with your hormone imbalance um, and, and dehydration and electrolytes. Um, one of the things I talked about is that if you continually to ha have the stress and the high levels of, of cortisol in your body, then uh, add on top of that not drinking enough and you are losing electrolytes to stress, you're dehydrated because you're not drinking enough, and so we are constantly needing um, to, to stay hydrated, constantly needing water, and we're, you know, hunger you know dehydration is a uh is a a hunger trigger and so we go to food he also talks about how when we're in this state of adrenaline our body starts to break down carbs uh for a quick release energy instead of fat so we start to burn carbs and the fat gets stored and then we crave carbs because we're depleting it and so that's why we are, have, have carbs and comfort food when we're under emotional or, or some sort of a, a stress factor. We crave carbs because our body is eating away at the carbs and so the fat. Um, and, uh, and, so, and he even talks about how even if you're eating an ideal diet and you're under stress, because of the electrolytes being depleted, because you're not able to stay hydrated, you're, you're, the nutrients you're eating aren't getting to your body the way they ought to, as quick as they ought to. So he even says, if you, even if you're eating an ideal diet, if you're dehydrated uh, because of, of high stress, then you're going to still feel the same fatigue and the same um, uh, results as somebody who doesn't eat a, uh, a clean on top of it sort of a diet um, and then he talks about how um, you know with this extra levels of cortisol in your body uh, you have a hard time sleeping because you've got the adrenaline rushing even if it's not like the adrenaline that you normally like super excited it's just uh, on edge you know do you feel it on edge sort of you know and it takes a while to be able to fall asleep and that's because of these stress factors and then it's a vicious cycle because the lack of sleep causes more stress so uh, then he talks about how to deal with this. But that's gonna be the next video because I haven't gotten that far yet. So I'm just really, like, it, the things that he's saying make sense. And um, I'm gonna continue to read and continue to give you what he talks about, some ideas, some things that pop into my head. Um, I'm reading this book completely non-judgmental, non-biased, um, you know, from a educational standpoint. Whether you want to go vegan or whether you love your red raw meat, um, the things, that, the science behind um, what he's saying makes sense. And I'm just going to continue to read to see what more he has to say and see if it works for us.